At the turn of the 20th century, construction began on the world's largest paper mill, in Millinocket, Maine. Forests needed to be cleared for land, a train line had to be established, and basic housing for workers and their families had to be built. To do all this, hundreds of men needed to be hired. The problem, though, there simply wasn't a large labor pool in the Millinocket area at the time. So the call went out, and an influx of able-bodied workers streamed in from all over the world. Italians from Sicily arrived in large numbers under the guidance of their padroni. French Canadians, frustrated with the lack of steady jobs in Canada, flowed into the area. And other immigrant workers arrived from Ireland, England, Poland, Lithuania, Germany, even from as far away as the Middle East. The result? The small town of Millinocket grew at a feverish pitch. In fact, Millinocket grew so big, so fast, it seemed to grow as if by magic, earning the town the nickname the Magic City. When the mill, known as the Great Northern Paper Company, opened for business, many workers who worked on the mill stayed to work in the Great Mill, taking on a variety of good-paying papermaking jobs. The multi-ethnic immigrant community segregated itself at first, maintaining separate heritages and separate neighborhoods. Gradually, however, the diverse groups blended together, and Millinocket developed into a place where different cultures, driven by economic necessity, continue to share a common history and common heritage. 